Libra, how's it going? What's cooking? What's been going on? Today I'm going to give you a reading about your financial situation, see if there's any stressors, see if there's anything that can relieve some of those stressors if there are any, what you can learn about your financial situation, something you may have to change or look into changing and all that sort of thing, see what kind of career would be best for a Libra. Or keep in mind that this is just a general reading, it's not for every Libra, everyone has different paths they follow, different experiences, and all that sort of thing comes into play. So we're just going to go for a general reading for Libra to see what is cooking, right? <laughs> I'm going to switch the screen so you can see what is going on. There we go. Okay. Ooh, the death card is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's going to be some big changes coming up for you, Libras. Ooh, this one wants to be out. <laughs> That's your financial situation. Is there any financial stressors for Libras? Ooh, looking good already. Let's see. Is there something to relieve any financial stressors for Libras? <laughs> Man. I guess you don't have enough stress. You're going to have to create some chaos. Let's see. What is something that Libras can learn? What is something that Libras can learn? Thank you. What is something that Libras can change about their finances? What is something that Libras can change about their finances? How can Libras create a better relationship with finances? I guess this is one. <laughs> they all want to come out one at a time. What is something in your life that's already abundant? What is something in Libra's life that is already abundant? Ooh, relationship is good. Commitment. Okay. Let's see what we got here. For the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups is in the dark, so I do feel like there's a little bit of repressed feelings going on, or holding some sort of feelings going on with your financial situation, right? We have to clarify on that situation. Yeah, I think maybe we should clarify that situation. What is the situation regarding we rise? Could be just the beginnings of something happening. Um, feeling unmotivated about finances. Let's see. Seven of Wands. Huh. The Seven of Wands, I feel like it's like looking ahead and like wondering if there's any goals that are worth pursuing at this time. I feel like there's a little bit of unmotivation <laughs> with the Ace of Cups in the Dark about putting a lot of effort or energy into looking ahead and making those long-term goals successful or wondering if they're even reachable at this time. So we're going to look at that too. Um, the King of Wands is in the light. So that is good for <laughs> if you're under any financial stress. So I feel like you feel confident in your finances at this current time. I feel like you feel like you're doing all that you can do. You're being very logical about it like a Libra. So that is a good thing happening. You know, you got that fiery passion. You feel like you're you're on top of things. I can feel that. You know, there might be a little bit of something there and going on about debt. Uh, not not debt. I don't know why I said debt. But I mean about a doubt about looking forward to those future goals and wondering what goals are reachable. Maybe you're wondering where or if you should put into any investments and that sort of thing. But overall, I feel like you have a good sense of your financial situation. Things are good. You know, overall, the tower, the tower is in the light. A little bit of surprise, but you know, a little bit of chaos once in a while happens. <laughs> this is something to relieve a little bit of your current stresses. So maybe this could also be about taking that risk of planning ahead or reaching those future goals that you may be wanting to pursue or look into. Some good um, energy around Libras is that Libras are good at like not needing the most expensive things, you know, like me, I'm a Taurus, I'm more into materialistic things, you know, the finer things in life, right? But Libras are more content with 
living on a budget or being good at being savvy, you know, spending things wisely or purchasing things wisely that will last you long term so you don't have to keep buying the same thing over and over again rather than if it looking fancy or gorgeous or you know you know you know I feel that I feel that for you just having that solid tower you know more than any sense of chaos and I feel like that is your sense of relieving any stress knowing that you have a good hold of chaos that's going on around you you know nothing's gonna crack your foundation you got it you're solid i can feel that energy for you libras for the eight of wands and being in the dark i feel like this is something you learned about your financial situation the eight of wands is, is, again is about not taking action not reaching those goals that feel so distant like out of reach and just mm, they're there but you know tomorrow tomorrow i'll look into that yeah not right now i'm gonna take my time and enjoy what is what is <laughs> is on the agenda i can feel that for you for the eight of wands as well being in the dark i kind of feel like there's an energy of like feeling a little bit hectic at this time like there's like so many things going on spring is coming i just want to get outside you know i'm done with winter some of you i can feel like you're just putting all the winter stuff away right now and you're like you're just done <laughs> i can feel that for you you know yeah we're the ten of pentacles so this is about something you can change. Yeah, I feel like if there's a sense of communication, especially with the Page of Wands right beside it, like having communications with your partner or someone that may be financially draining towards you, you know? You have to reassess your family situation about where the financial situation is heading, what you would like to change, where to put more focus, where you're not, not needing to cater that so much anymore, you know? Just moving things around a little bit. I could feel that for some of you. Ten of Pentacles in the Dark, I also feel like there's an energy of being a little bit unsure of the work situation, maybe unsure if you are on the right career path, or if the career that you're doing is making you financially stable enough not to rock your tower, right? You can kind of feel that energy too. A great careers for a Libra is kind of like a lawyer, a judge, but you know that, right? Being a great leader, like so, like being like a manager or a boss or some sort of thing like that, as well as up a Libra's alley. I feel like Libras are really good at being successful at designer and tech design and that sort of thing. Art is right up their alley too, but it's kind of like a catch twenty two with Libras. Like some Libras, if they're very if they were allowed to, to create a lot of art when they're children and be inspired by art a lot when they're children, they can be very great at creative and art and uh, all that sort of thing. But if they were kind of like sheltered from that at the early age in childhood, they seem to not really want to focus on the arts and creativeness as much as they grow into adults. They're more diplomatic and more into law and rights and human rights and that sort of thing. So it all depends, like I feel like there's two different kinds of Libras and it all just really depends on their childhood, which I find is really interesting. I've been thinking about some people have been requesting me to do a inner child or um, what your child's personality would be like based on their zodiac sign. And I've been doing, I've done some child psychology myself a little bit, not too much, but um, yeah. We will see. We will see. If you think that is a good video to do next for a series, put a comment down below. <laughs> um, yeah. But for the pages ones, I'm definitely feeling that sense of being focused on communication. Like there's communication with regarding some sort of thing. It can even be like seeking some professional help regarding your financial situation. But overall, I feel like the Libra that is being picked up here is a, is pretty good at managing and balancing they have that equal balance you know the libra an equal balance of their financial situation overall mm -hmm. i'm feeling like you may have some big ideas that may be worth pursuing as well you know like right here you're kind of like eh, 
good and I have that goal, I have that desire, but I'm not gonna put any effort into it. And Paige's wants is like, yes, look into it, you know? We kind of like having a little inner celebration there about it as well. I also feel this energy of like being inspired, wanting more, wanting to be more ambitious, more determined to be financially successful, financially balanced, you know, I could feel that. That sense of potential and opportunity and like wondering what else is out there, like having that energy and focus. You know, I feel like the, the universe is kind of like giving you that hint. Mm, now's the time. Now's the time to look into that. Which you already have an abundance. The Two of Cups and the world. I know that they're in the dark, but I feel like overall, Libras have a good sense of their relationship and commitment. If this isn't you, if you're not in a solid relationship with a good commitment, and this is in the dark for you, I do feel like... You're now open to having this love connection, you know, that romance and committed relationship now. And I feel like it's coming for you very soon if you don't have it already. Yeah. <laughs> love is in the air. It's spring. <laughs> I feel that for you. I'm going to switch the screens. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me live on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And some Sundays if you want to check that out for live free readings. I also do private readings if you're interested in that. The information for that is in the description down below. You can check that out. You can also follow me on Discord. On Discord I do have a little book club going on there. If you want to check that out, just message me on Discord in the general Discord thing. And I will send you a invite to my book club. If that's something you're interested in, it is free. <laughs> Yeah, a little hangout we discuss about the book and that sort of thing. Um, the book that we're reading now is about seances and spirits and using tarot to speak to spirits if there's something you're interested in. Um, you can catch up <laughs> if you wish to. Um, you don't need your book. The book is on the thing that I will invite you in so you can just read along with us. Um, there's that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Hope you have a great day. Bye!